Russian President Vladimir Putin has signed a treaty with his counterparts from Kazakhstan and Belarus, creating a vast trading bloc intended to challenge the economic might of the United States, the European Union and China. Known as the Eurasian Economic Union, the bloc, which is expected to come into force on January 1st, represents a population of more than 170 million people, with a combined GDP of around $2.7 trillion. It will allow for the free movement of goods, services, labor and capital capital between the three nations. However, Putin's plans for the bloc have been dealt a major blow by Ukraine's refusal to join and instead seek closer ties with the European Union. Ukraine had looked likely to move closer to Russia last year under former President Viktor Yanukovych, but mass protests which led to his ouster brought a pro-European government to power which has vowed to continue the process of integration with the European Union. Opinion polls show that a majority of Ukrainians back the move toward Europe, and that sentiment has only strengthened since unrest broke out in the country after Yanukovych fled office, the subsequent annexation by Russia of Ukraine's Black Sea Peninsula, and the Kremlin's continued financing and organizing of unrest in East Ukraine has further pushed Ukrainians away from Moscow and toward the EU. Putin's hopes of holding on to Ukraine have been dealt a further blow by Kiev's recent announcement that it has begun taking steps to quit the Commonwealth of Independent States, the alliance of former Soviet republics, which was formed when the Soviet Union collapsed. Ukraine's newly elected president, Petro Poroshenko, has vowed to sign a free trade deal with the European Union soon after he is officially inaugurated in the coming weeks.